Let me talk about this further with Tembi Safakude, Senior Researcher for the Africa-Asia Dialogues. Uh, very good evening to you, Stan. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, before we get to what the sentiments of South Africa's International Relations and Corporations Minister, Dr. Naledi Pando, when hosting the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, um, the Defence Minister of South Africa actually hit out at critics, uh, particularly with regards to the military exercises to be undertaken with China and Russia by saying when the US asks for the same, there is uh, no outcry. What are your thoughts about this? Well, my thoughts about it were why did, did we have to do this in the first place? Why is it, was it important for South Africa to undertake these military drills? Uh, we are known as a country that prioritizes diplomacy and negotiations. Uh, and we have a reputation that we inherited from our forefathers, including Nelson Mandela. But suddenly we are entering a very dangerous frame. And the reason why this is done, of course, uh, Sergei Lavrov hinted uh, that uh, since South Africa wanted to reform the, at the United Nations, uh, Russia will support South Africa to join the United Nations Security Council but by so doing, South Africa will be joining a club of people who decide uh, who lives and who dies. And I'm not quite sure whether a country such as South Africa is ready for that. Mm. So I'll go back to what the defence minister has said. But that I still think it's a very important point that when South Africa goes into negotiations about military exercises, whether it's at a regional level or not, there is no outcry. And does this suggest that... It is a lie that South Africa says every country uh, undertakes such exercises, whether it's to improve and increase its own national security, but it is part of diplomatic relations. Well, it's not part of diplomatic relations. Military and diplomacy are two opposite terms that can be used interchangeably. Um, I think what South Africa was trying to do is that since they did the same with the United States, they felt that in, in order for them to balance their act, they will also do uh, the military drills with both China and Russia. But again, uh, many people are arguing. We've never had this in the past. Uh, maybe it was done, but uh, it didn't catch or catch the limelight that it has done uh, right now. Uh, and I think maybe also at the same time, South Africa is trying to show its muscle as it continues to engage uh, in Cabo Delgado in Mozambique, uh, together with Rwanda, South Africa leading, of course, the South African, Southern African uh, Development, uh, SADC, in, in that part of the world. So we'll have to see uh, what happens afterwards. But I still, I'm still of the view that we're entering a very dangerous fail henceforth. And uh, for us to, at this point in time, to be demonstrating and um, exhibiting our, our, our military power, I'm, I'm not quite sure whether it's a good thing to do given South Africa's reputation in the world as a country of negotiators and a country that pushes uh, negotiation and diplomacy over military intervention. Mm. Uh, and it's very interesting because obviously your views differ greatly from a peace and security expert that we spoke to on the program, I think it was yesterday, who was speaking not only about South Africa's sovereignty, how many other Western countries engage in the same uh, types of exchanges, the fact that we have seen a flurry of uh, diplomatic visits, bilateral, uh, uh, regional, multilateral uh, visits uh, to South Africa, We've heard that, that European uh, high officials also seeking to do the same. So which line exactly is correct and from whose view for South Africa to toe? Well, I, it's, it's a very difficult uh, one actually to comment on because one, South Africa is no longer a main manufacturer of, of arms. One would have thought that this was because it is trying to market certain type of arms to the globe, but we are no longer a prominent manufacturer of arms since Dinell is uh, struggling at the moment. So one wonders why, why are we suddenly so keen in having these military drills? Uh, it's going to be four military drills if the Europeans also do want us to participate. And we are told by uh, Minister Pando that this is something that's commonly done by friendly nations, but we know a lot of nations around the world uh, who do not do this all the time. One. Two is you know, with the Russia, it happens, you know, right in the middle of 
of uh, the, the the anniversary of its invasion uh, of Ukraine. Then you have Russia coming to South Africa, having these military drills. Uh, for me, diplomatically and otherwise, it did not uh, sound correct, nor was I think it was appropriate for South Africa to have engaged mm. in such an but action, given uh, that uh, Ukraine continues. And this is what I'm trying to understand from your point of view, Stay. Yeah, when we talk about moral correctitude, when we talk about strategic importance, um, from whose prism are we looking at and how, uh, what posture South Africa expected to adopt when it's in conversation with China, it's in conversation with Europe, it's in conversation with America. And South Africa argues very valiantly so that these conversations are pretty much along the same lines that it's non-alignment remains that the principle of ensuring more sustainable conflict resolution and management is foremost on its mind which parameters are correct well you broke for a while but i think i got the question um i think south africa has, has, has all the years punched way above its weight and south africa has dictated its own um, reputation and what it, it wants to be known uh, for. So for us this time around to be wanting to um, succumb to pressures, uh, whether from China, Russia, United States, in terms of us uh, starting a new culture uh, when having these powerful countries visiting our shores, I still maintain that it, it's troubling and we're entering a different a different terrain which uh, could backlash against us, particularly given that we have, uh, you know, insurgencies happening in Mozambique, uh, etc. So South Africa might be expected in the future to enter uh, into uh, these military conflicts. And I'm not sure whether we're ready to do that. From which prism, I think we have always, as I've said earlier on, uh, dictated our own destiny and we've always, we've always insisted on our own ways of politicking and um, i think we should continue doing the same all right thank you so much for speaking to a senior research fellow at the africa asia dialogue tembisa fakuda we're going to leave it there